Hi, and welcome to Let's Bake and Cook Stuff. Right now, I am making a pasta dish. You know, I really need to decide what I'm gonna call things before I start these videos. I, I got, all, got it all assembled and I'm all excited about it, but I didn't think of a, what to call it. It's gonna be, well, it's another pasta with vegetables. <laughs> but I am gonna add meat in it for uh, Mr. Wonderful. So um, there will be meat in here for you meat eaters. I'm, right now I'm chopping up a uh, serrano chili pepper. I actually wasn't going to put this in here until I said, oh hey, there's no, there's no heat in here. I need something for heat. So I'm just chopping. I'm going to chop up two of them. You know, pretty thin. That one actually was thicker than I normally would want it. And I'm leaving the seeds and everything in there. Completely optional. And what I've done earlier, one and a half cups of orzo in three cups of boiling water and about a teaspoon of salt. And then I just boiled it for about five minutes till it was done. And then right now, I'm gonna add some cream cheese to this. And then we're just gonna stir it in. And then we're gonna set this aside. But I didn't drain the orzo. I just cooked it in three cups of water. So that's the amount of water that we needed for this, okay? If you wanted to use broth, up the, amp up the flavor, you feel free to do that. But this is right now, it's just orzo, about a teaspoon of salt, and some water and then now we're stirring in this uh, cream cheese until it gets nice and melted that's going to go in at the end right now i'm going to start with a uh, medium high heat two tablespoons of butter okay that butter is melted it's nice and sizzly this is a it's a it's a half of a like i what i'm going to call a medium onion but you can put as much in there as you want if you have a giant onion you feel like using up go ahead and use it this is, and I diced it real, real fine. I'm just going to soften up that onion a little bit. I probably can add these chilies at this time. Again, those are completely optional for people whose taste buds aren't dying off in their old age. <laughs> Two cloves of garlic, but they were giant cloves, so it's probably closer to three cloves of garlic. That in there. We're gonna let that go about 30 seconds. And then we're gonna add our mushrooms. Smells so good. This is about two cups of uh, chopped cremini, cremini mushrooms, the mini portobellos. And these ever actually have to cook for a little while because you know those are gonna shrink down quite a bit. But I also want to get kind of almost like a crust on them. So that's gonna be a few minutes. There you see the mushrooms, the onions, the chilies, and the butter. That's all that's in there so far. And they have cooked down quite a bit, so I'm going to add the asparagus. i the asparagus to cook for a minute or two. Okay, one cup of peas. Throws in there, slightly thawed. Three tablespoons of lemon juice. Freshly squeezed lemon juice if you have it. If you don't, you know I'm not a snob about the bottled stuff. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It says there's lemon juice in there. Now we're going to add our pasta. It's mixed with the uh, cream cheese. We'll turn this off. Third of a cup of Parmesan cheese grated. And our basil. You could rather put mint or parsley or a combination. Go right ahead. I think that would be delightful. That's fantastic. That is really, really good. It's definitely lemony and cheesy. It's, it's, it's amazing. Let me show you what I'm gonna do for Gabe real quick. Okay, now I've got this on uh, medium high again. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of teaspoon of, of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil in there. I'm going to pour some of that over this real quick, just to make it pretty. How good does that look? I mean, we're talking some orzo pasta. You could probably do that with a different pasta. I mean break up some spaghetti or um, 
with the macaroni or vitellini. Here's a, here's a shot for you meat eaters. The sizzling steak on there. Okay, so there we have it. We have a delicious pasta dinner. Took 30, 40 minutes to make. Great for Meatless Monday. Great if you want to toss some meat on top of it too. Either way, if you give me a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. I do appreciate you watching. Please subscribe, share this video, and I will see you next time.